Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So tomorrow is the start of Ignite, but I wanted to go ahead and post a video right before Ignite, so here we go. Um, and this video, I'm gonna be talking about some of the enhancements in the timeline that you might have missed. And if that is the case, I'm gonna talk about those today. So there's actually two pretty cool new enhancements that you can utilize while using the timeline or when your users are using the timeline. One of them is the ability to actually create bookmarks and the other one is the ability to pin one or multiple activities to the timeline. If you wanna learn more about that, stay tuned. I'll be right back right after this. Let's start with bookmarks. So previously, when users actually set filters on the timeline, they had the ability to like remember those filters, right? And this was actually a personal setting, but unfortunately, there was only one filter setting that users were able to save at a time. So for example, if you filtered the timeline to see emails only, then they were able to save that setting, that view, I almost want to say, but they couldn't save multiple views. So if they also wanted to save a view in the timeline that only showed phone calls, then they would, to, they would need to manually configure that filter again. So with bookmarks, we now see a new icon on the command bar in the timeline right and let me just scroll down here so you can see it and this is that little icon that you can click and then you can create your own different filtered views on that timeline so this is giving us a lot more to work with it's still going to be a personal view so only the person who created that bookmark will have access to that bookmark but again this is going to make it a whole lot easier and quicker to filter out out activities on the timeline right so let me show you how you can actually create one of those bookmarks so if i click on here it's going to say add book bookmark but it's going to use whatever filtering that i currently have in place as that bookmark. So what I'm going to do here is I'm first going to filter some things. Let's say I want to see all of the emails and only the emails. So I'm going to do that filter. As you can see, only emails. I have 23 and now we can only see those emails. If I want to save that as a bookmark, I can click on bookmarks and I can say add bookmark. Then I can enter a name for that. So let's just say emails. And then I can also set that as the default bookmark. So from here, all I have to do is click save. And there you go. So now we have our emails bookmark. Let's say we want another bookmark. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this filter. And then I'm going to say, let's see here, activity status is overdue. So any activities that are overdue, Again, I'm going to click bookmarks. I'm going to add this as well. I'm going to say overdue. And now I'm going to go ahead and save that. And let me just again remove those filters. So I can show you now how I can very quickly go to my bookmark and get that filtered view in my timeline. So if I want to do emails, here we go. Only emails. Now, unfortunately, if I now do overdue, which were four, right? You guys remember that? It doesn't show that. So it looks like the bookmarks are being placed on top of one another. But if I go ahead and now unfilter that, remove the filters, and then go to overdue, it will now show me my overdue activities here directly in that timeline. So that's pretty cool right but again this is a personal setting so only the end user who created the bookmark will have that particular experience now the other thing that i actually noticed is that when you're creating these bookmarks they're going to be available from the timeline of any form so let's just go here 
to a datum corporation this is now an account form we were in the opportunity form before and here we go we now have I actually created another one I need to refresh this page probably let me just go ahead and, and do that because it looks like it still remembered my previously created bookmarks so let me refresh that and then here you go those are again those two bookmarks that I created previously so that's kind of nice right being able to you don't have to go into each individual table and then create those bookmarks right for each timeline of that particular table now the next feature I wanted to show you is the the ability to now pin an activity and this is exactly what you guess that it's going to do. It's going to allow users to pin an activity at the top of the timeline for easy access. Now, the difference between this feature and the bookmarking, obviously, is when the record is pinned to the timeline, this will not just be visible to the user who pinned the activity. Other users will also see that pinned activity. So this is on a per row basis. So for example, if I pinned an email to the timeline of an opportunity, then everybody who has access to that opportunity and obviously that email will see that pinned activity on the timeline when they open that same row. So I'm going to go back because I actually configured this for the account record. So let me just go ahead and open my account record and I'm going to look here for an email. So here we see an email that we have here and a note as well. I can also configure this for notes. So if I click on this now, you're going to be able to see, right? These are all of my recent activities and this is my pinned activity, right? So if somebody else now logs in, they will see this note pinned on the top of this account record as well. Now there is a little bit configuration to do it's really really tiny so let me show you that as well so I'm gonna go here into make.powerapps.com and obviously I will need to go to the account table right because that's where I configure this so any table you want to configure this you would just go ahead and open that table then you would go to your forms and I'm looking for my account form. So here it is. Let's open that baby up. And I'm going to click here on timeline because that's where that configuration is. Now you can go into each of those different activities and then when you click on that, you see here that you now have the ability to also turn on, I almost want to say, right, to enable the pinning and the unpinning of records. So that's all you have to do. Just make sure that that's checked. And then you can also see here that it says the first five enabled commands, which the user has permissions are shown. So right now I have seven configured. So you probably want to make sure that this is kind of a little bit higher, right? Uh, let's just see what this is number four. This is number five. I can click done and then I can just go ahead and save and publish that. And now my end users are going to be able to pin an email activity here on the timeline. Again, if you want this to also be enabled for other activity types, then you would have to do the same thing that I just did for those emails. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching. Until next time.